Hey guys, it's Rex998, and we are doing a new video here. This is more of like a tutorial and a review of some new things I want to try out. So these are some NFC tags I ordered off Amazon, and we're going to be trying them out with uh, Galaxy S3. Um, like I said, I got these today, and let's get started. Alright. So here are the chips, they're actually pretty small, they're literally the size of like poker chips, maybe even thinner or smaller. Um, so they're made by WizTags, and here's like some stuff they wrote in the package if you want to read through it. Yeah, like I said, they're like the size of poker chips, and they work amazing. So like I said, I got these today from Amazon, and I'll leave the link in the description and if you guys want to order some and like mess around with them yourself. Uh, like I said, I tried them out. They're pretty cool. They're great. So let me open this. Open it here, and I'm going to show you the few ones that came with it. Um, first of all, if you order these, you get like a special keychain one special keychain chip and then you get an, a bonus normal chip like you saw over there uh, I'll show Paul showing up right now okay, there you go I like the little androids uh, on them they're pretty cool and it's gonna be fun to carry around with so yeah so these are the normal chips these are the size they're pretty small and thin they're great, and they have uh, adhesive on the back, so you can like poke them or put them somewhere. And yeah, this is one of the bonus ones, I guess. I don't know which one was the bonus one, but all I know is there's two bonus ones: the keychain and an extra one. And here, like all the different colors that came with it. There you go. Okay, guys. Yeah, so this is the actual programming of the chips. Um, yeah, I had to cut it off real quick because, uh, there was a problem I faced, and so, yeah. Uh, so, pretty much, you gotta turn on NFC on your Galaxy S3, S4, S5. You should know, just go to this, uh, notification center, like the top right corner, press that, and then turn on NFC. You're gonna want to download the app Trigger which is a really good app to get started with. Right here I show NFC tools. This is an okay app if you want to do simple tasks. But Trigger is more of a more advanced uh, application for doing these types of things. So this is just a simple like Wi-Fi connection test that you apply to your NFC tag. So yeah. As you can see I put in the different uh, authentications, encryptions, the SSID and the password. I do put my phone down because of the password. Um, so yeah. There, right here. I put the phone down so I can uh, put my password. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. I don't even show it. Like. I press done so you guys can know. Just put in the password and then press OK. Right here, as you can see, I put my phone down and put in the password. As you're done, you just press OK and you see right there it says write. But you can also go to tasks and like, add a task and do like a bunch of different stuff such as edit the display, your networks, a few other things right here you can even get the NFC tag to enable Wi-Fi for you or Bluetooth or whatever other network you want to enable 
you can even have it like enable your hotspots. So yeah, it's a they're pretty cool to use. They're awesome to mess around with. If you want to just try something new, try these. So you can do a bunch of different features. I accidentally pressed uh, one of the ones that were locked. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And all you gotta do is, uh, as you can see, there's all these features. So you can do, uh, you can go back to right and do right. You press on the right button. But uh, right here, I was checking some different things. See if I can find like merge or something to merge the two things, because this like separates them. So you write, and here you just tap the NFC tag. After that, you press OK, and it's done. But here I went to tools and tried to think like, oh, I can write them together or separate. So I tap it again. Press OK. And I actually tried it out by getting out of the app, pulling down, turning off, turning off mobile Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi, and some stuff to see that it does connect. There you go. There's a chip, and here is the tap. NFC is a really great like addition to to this uh, these phones. They make life a little easier, and you know, as you can see, you connected to the. Wi I was already connected to the Wi-Fi, so you know, it's kind of that. So here, I open Trigger and erase it just so I can add my new function. So you go to Other NFC Activities and then Erase Tag. And you just tap it and it erases all the information off it. It will say tag written, but it didn't really write anything. It just took everything off. And as you see, saw right there, there are multiple things you can do. So right here, um, I will have to do like another tutorial on how to like start all this. It's not hard. It's really simple. But, you know, I, w I already had this done because the problem I had earlier was that my m this mm. phone had a different battery in it which was not NFC capable so I had to replace it and I already had this function done as you can see I already put it on there um, you can go right here turn off Wi-Fi tap it turn on Wi-Fi for you and connect to the network so uh, there's another part to this that's at the end of this video which fixes it because this was the wrong network it was supposed to connect to so here's the thing that it will disable Bluetooth enable Wi-Fi and connect to the network as you can see right there turned off Bluetooth turned on Wi-Fi and connect it to the right network to the network not the right network the network was supposed to be that other one you guys saw which was ours guest so yeah guys these guys these are pretty cool to mess around with and that's pretty much all I gotta show you so I'll see you guys in the next video and peace